Hey folks, here at OS Reviews. So smart lighting and light bulbs that you can control with the phone's app is all the rage right now. But if you're not really into that, there are still benefits that you can get from uh, newer light bulbs that are coming onto the market. We've seen quite a few of those. We're going to do a quick montage review in this video to discuss some popular models uh, right now. One I don't have in this video, but I've actually seen is this interesting burning flame or bulb light bulb that simulates the experience of a burning flame by wrapping LEDs around a ring in a light bulb and sealing it up in plastic so that each individual LED is programmable to create the shape of a flame and you get a virtual flame when you plug it into let's say a wall. So that's a pretty cool bulb um, similar to these that I'll show you in a moment. But all of these can be found for under 20 bucks and some of them use LED technology which means it's going to last a lot longer than your typical bulb. It's also a lot more energy efficient. So first one is by Lohas and you can see that this one really claims the energy efficiency and talks about the color temperature because a common concern with LED bulbs is that they are more cold in the color temperature, but it seems like this part can actually be programmed depending on uh, which version that you pick up, if you want it a bit more colder or a bit warmer on the tone. This is a pretty typical one that is also the cheapest that you can find in the links down below. Energy ratings on the sides, one year guarantee, 12 watts, um, and if we just kind of open up the bottom here, we should be able to just see the bulb. Pretty typical and standard stuff, but it really looks like a lot of these uh, newer smart light bulbs that we've been checking out lately. So it looks like underneath here there is indeed just an array of LEDs, which is creating this very even casting and glow. Uh, and the plastic here can actually be probably popped back in, I'm guessing. The base of the bulb is made out of aluminum, so it's actually very sturdy, and construction quality here is top-notch. It's just going to cast a glow up to 120 degrees in the angle, and uh, pretty similar in terms of size to an actual light bulb, but a lot more rugged since it's plastic and metal. Next here we have a more typical one that still uses a filament, um, and this particular company, again links in the description below, specializes in these almost antique looking bulbs. So if you're interested in technology, maybe like the Nixie tubes, and you want to look at vintage uh, bulbs, this one can really add an interesting cast and glow to a room. So it's really reminiscent of an actual candle. It produces a very yellow, warm glow, great for reading, especially in the winter. And it, it comes in multiple different sizes. This is actually a longer tube, but still a standard tip, which means that it can pop onto basically any standard lamp um, or desk lamp. So if you want a more standard bulb shaped one, it also can be found and they come in sets as well. But this longer one here is also fairly inexpensive. I'll show you guys the uh, light in a moment, but it uh, just produces a very even glow, uh, casts a pretty nice area as far as the surface, and it's just pretty typical as far as the build. It's made out of glass, and of course the filament on the inside is a bit more sensitive, so if you drop this it might break a bit more easily. Uh, the last one I have for today's purposes is actually an interesting plant growth lamp. It again uses LED technology, links down below. It's the largest one, but it's meant for uh, maybe for more biology purposes if you want to put this in a garden or outside where there's plants around it combines red and uh, red and uh, blue LEDs to quote simulate the growth of stimulate the growth of plants um, which makes it you know a bit better in terms of producing maybe if you're growing a certain plants for vegetables or for, for eating fruit this might be something you want to try out but otherwise since it's basically just LEDs it's really harmless as well if you put it indoors and want to add some interesting mood lighting so I'll show you that in a moment it's the heaviest but same construction quality aluminum metal plastic not overly uh, fragile and uh, casts an interesting uh, glow as well perhaps good for maybe party situations if you want some mood lighting in a room you can also consider this so let's so the first one here is just the simple LED one. It's the brightest, I would say, because it's a very pure white light. It's about in the middle as far as the glow and the temperature is concerned. Not overly warm, but also not super soft, um, and also not super cold. So you get a pretty good reading light for studying, for doing work and productivity. It really fills up the room surprisingly. Um, so. This is probably again one of the brightest ones, almost you know rivals the standard torch flashlight in that sense. So again, even if you rely on just this one bulb to fill up a larger space like a desk in a smallish room, it's really gonna you know fill up the entire room as well, which is good to note. Um, you can't really adjust the the temperature. You can't really adjust as far as the brightness controls per se using a standard desk lamp. But uh, all in all, really not too bad, and it works pretty well. Here is the plant growth lamp, really interesting. So it again produces this red and uh, and blue LED. Uh, it's mostly red if they actually kind of look closely and zoom all the way in and hard for the camera to discern here. But you can see that a bit more intense red, slightly pinkish on the center and then LEDs which are blue. So it actually is kind of warm as well. So it produces a bit of heat, not just you know for show, it's not just light. Um, so it really can 
make your greenhouse warmer, I guess. So maybe not the best choice in the world for just room lighting in general, but I guess if you have a party, if you're in a bit of a hurry, it does still kind of work um, and adds to the atmosphere for sure. It's very bright, so it fills up the space, but the only concern is if you look at it directly, it's a little bit nauseating since it has this really uh, almost dizzy, uh, dizzying kind of uh, combination of colors uh, that really reminds me of a party light or kind of a laser light in that sense. But anyways, it works and it's using LEDs, so it will last you for long. Last but not least, it's the warmest one out of the bunch. It's my personal favorite just for general uh, reading in my room if I'm not doing too much you know work perhaps it's good for relaxing that I think I'm just gonna put into this bulb long term it's this uh, really beautiful vintage lamp it's perhaps the last the least exciting in terms of high-tech since it doesn't have LEDs it's not anything really new but uh, this whole entire mood that it casts is actually quite magical in the room if I zoom all the way you can really see the filaments uh, kind of light up individually it gets very bright and even if you have you know this plugged into the into the wall or into a chandelier it really just creates this a very beautiful, interesting, vintage, warm glow. So anyways guys, this has been a quick montage review and montage look at uh, various new LEDs as well as uh, various interesting novelty light bulbs that you can pick up now through Amazon as well as other online vendors, so be sure to check that out. This has been our video, thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.